In recent social media updates, David Woolley publicly acknowledges corrupting his wife, Christine Brown, from Sister Wives by sharing his hobbies, particularly their newfound love for NASCAR. Fans celebrate their happiness as the couple explores new interests together, including off-road adventures in Utah and Christine's growing fascination with racing, even expressing a desire to catch the attention of NASCAR driver Kyle Larson. Meanwhile, Janelle Brown of Sister Wives faces challenges, expressing frustrations over product promotion and finding suitable gym wear for curvy women. Despite her efforts, some fans criticize her approach, suggesting alternatives for her endeavors. Additionally, Cody Brown, amidst personal tragedy following the loss of his son Garrison, faces scrutiny from fans for his past actions and perceived treatment of his wives. While some sympathize with his grief, others point to his history of favoritism and strained relationships within the family. Lastly, Mary Brown ventures into entrepreneurship with a Worthy Up, a life coaching service inspired by her journey towards self-worth. Despite skepticism from fans, Mary's resilience through personal struggles showcases her ability to overcome challenges, even as she navigates the complexities of her past marriage within the sister-wives dynamic. Welcome to A Creative Night Shows, where the drama unfolds and the stories captivate. Join us as we delve into the intriguing world of a sister wives, revealing the untold tales and hidden truths behind the headlines. Christine Brown's wife was a corrupted, David Woolley admits. There's a learning curve associated with every new partnership. Before becoming engaged and getting married, Christine Brown, star of Sister Wives, and David Woolley had barely known one another. Fans, however, appear to be pleased than ever. In a recent social media post, David acknowledges that he corrupted his wife by sharing one of his favorite pastimes. What precisely have the Woolley done thus far? David Woolley is happy to have corrupted his new wife. Every newlywed loves to share their interests and passions with their partner. Social media followers of David Woolley and Christine Brown are aware that they spend a significant amount of time experimenting. The couple has been spending a lot of time in the Utah wilderness lately. Christine fell in love with RZR cars when David showed her around. However, that is not the only novel item David presented to Christine. I have tainted her. Indeed. She has joined me. I can't wait to take Christine Brown, Southwest, to NASCAR. David captioned his Instagram photo, I'm sharing my favorite hobbies with my wife, and he included multiple NASCAR accounts in the description. I hope to see you there. You're last if you're not first. Love, I'm happy to be your only. Christine responded with a joke in the comments. Many other Sister Wives watchers were thrilled to see Christine looking so content and having a great time with David. They posted encouraging remarks in the comments, such as, You've accomplished your goal of making her happy. You two look adorable together. Today's most wholesome content goes to this. The best is NASCAR. We adore the 43. The Sister Wives star makes an effort to attract Kyle Larson's interest. Christine Brown was well known to her followers for having a racing addiction. She expressed on Instagram a few days ago how much she wanted Kyle Larson to notice her. I can't wait to see David at the NASCAR Coca-Cola 600 in Charlotte over Memorial Day weekend. Everything. We must get to know Kyle Larson. Christine included a description of David's love for Larson in the video on her personal Instagram page. Many of her Instagram fans commented on the video, tagging Kyle Larson, since they thought it was so adorable. Although it's unclear at this moment if Larson watched the footage, it might happen soon. Are you thrilled to see David Woolley and Christine Brown pursuing new interests? What do you suppose she will attempt next, now that she's enjoying NASCAR? Post your own ideas and opinions in the comments section. To stay up to date with Christine, David, and the other cast members of Sister Wives, click this link.
Return soon for more. Update on Sister Wives, Janelle is at her wit's end over her business and hanging around. Star of Sister Wives Janelle Brown is not easily angered, but she recently worked herself into a tirade in anticipation of the release of season 19 of her TLC series. In a different post she shared with her followers, she also performed a juggling act for her fans. Janelle Brown is completely honest. Since Janelle Brown is conscious of her age and body, it is unlikely that she will go out in Daisy Duke shorts and a bikini top. This is made clear by her recent online tirade. Subsequently, she tries a new strategy for product promotion in another article and puts herself through a juggling act. Some Sister Wives fans believe she's doing this very incorrectly, and they have a recommendation for her. They advise her to go back to the drawing board rather than juggling jars. Fans of Sister Wives frequently visit Janelle Brown's social media pages nowadays. Since the terrible tragedy of losing her son, a lot of people keep a watch on her. It appears that she is currently encircled by her family. However, Janelle has been furious over a few recent posts, and in one, she goes on a tirade. Thus, these days, life is more than just going strawberry picking with her grandkids. But Janelle makes her own money, much like the other two co-wives who left their now-dissolved polygamous marriage. Furthermore, the Sister Wives program has nothing to do with this additional cash. Janelle says it's not okay to wear her belly button. When Janelle Brown saw that the crop top appeared to be the new t-shirt for fitness attire, she worked herself into an angry frenzy. She recently looked for comfy gym clothes, and she wasn't happy with what she found. Supporters of Sister Wives quickly agreed with her. Janelle queries, where are the clothes for curvy women? Would you like some reasonable tops for postpartum women? No, Janelle was limited to finding crop tops. They may have a place in the world, but Janelle and other women who share their viewpoint don't see them as fitting into their way of life. Janelle was offended by crop tops because she wouldn't allow all her business hang out. Additionally, she wouldn't wear anything that would reveal her belly button to the world. She's looking for an exercise top that allows her to raise her arms without bearing her business to the public. She then sought suggestions from her sister wives' audience. Even though they carried a few other t-shirt companies, they had a different plan for Janelle because she was an entrepreneur. Gives fans a jar of pep and vigor. In a video for her sister wife's followers, Janelle performed a quite impressive juggling routine. She was holding all of these products, and when you mixed one with the other, the outcome promoted well-being and good health. However, she flashed all these things on the screen so quickly that they were mistranslated. She was carrying multiple jars and the pink beverage that she has been promoting for a while. However, they passed by the screen so fast that it was unclear which product was responsible for what. It was astonishing how Janelle Brown managed to move all those jars through her hands without any of them falling to the ground. Fans of Sister Wives, however, claim she's missing out on a huge opportunity. Why not create and market her own brand of fitness where instead of searching for the ideal one? It appears that Janelle Brown is staying active in anticipation of her upcoming TLC show season. If she follows the advice of her supporters, you might even find her at the sewing machine. Return here to get the most recent information about Sister Wives. Sister Wives, is Cody truly that selfish? Or how did he get his heartless image? Star of Sister Wives Cody Brown is going through a terrible time on March 5th. 2024, he lost his son Garrison Brown. Despite his grief, many people believe that he is a cold-blooded man. In the course of the show's 18 seasons, Cody has evolved. He was comparatively cheerful once. His face was typically smiling. He was not without patience. But as time went on, Cody started to become jaded and hardened. With the exception of Robin Brown, his queen, he did not treat his loved ones with the gratitude he deserved. Janelle, 
Christine Brown, and Mary became pals. Coach Cody benched the three less beloved wives. He was the head patriarch. He was in charge and the head of the Brown family because of their adherence to religious laws. Regretfully, he frequently played the dictator, abusing his power. He appeared to feel that he had been treated unfairly at the same time. Cody had low self-awareness and struggled to see past his own ego. He placed the responsibility for circumstances he created on everyone around him. Advice It makes sense why Christine, Janelle, and Mary fled into the hills. Men should leave who treat women that way. Ladies who receive such treatment ought to go. It's time to show sympathy for Cody Brown. However, he doesn't. This is the moment for supporters to come together in support of Cody. He had a child that he lost. But instead, he receives the worst shade. Supporters don't go so far as to hold him accountable for his son's passing. Cody isn't very active on Instagram, and when he did post about Garrison's passing, he disabled comments. Viewers of Sister Wives then reacted negatively to his prior posts, attacking him mercilessly. Take note. April 10th is when Garrison was born. Janelle Brown paid tribute to him on that momentous day. Before Garrison died, she made an effort to save him. Cody wasn't a great parent, but he deserves better than this. When the young man passed away, he and Garrison became distant. Cody will have to deal with that going forward. Though many of the show's viewers have little sympathy for the patriarch, there is no way to express I'm sorry. They appear to believe that the Brown family's demise was caused by his choice to show preference for Robin. Even though the whole story is probably more nuanced, it is undeniable that Cody's passion for Robin caused him to become resentful. The other women had problems, as did their children. As you can see in the video above, Cody disapproved of Garrison's decision to enlist in the National Guard. To appease his father, his son altered his plans. That argument, though, does not imply that he was unloving of his child. It might have even highlighted his worry, since Cody was worried that if he deployed Garrison would get hurt or killed. The amount of hate Cody is receiving is difficult to understand given how vulnerable he must be at this moment. One fan went low on Cody's previous Instagram post, the final one he added before sharing the news of Garrison's passing, writing. You're such a piece, you act as though everything revolves around you, and the pain of the underprivileged children to whom you donated your sperm is entirely your fault. As of mid-May 2024, Cody isn't responding to the hurtful remarks. It's likely that Cody reads all of these comments. Few celebrities can resist this kind of temptation. It's human nature to want to look and see what's being said. It's possible that these remarks send him into a downward spiral. It's almost dangerous to verbally abuse someone like this when they've experienced such a profound trauma. Cody might be extremely depressed. Though some Sister Wives viewers believe Cody is uncaring since he failed Garrison and his other children, aside from the ones he raises with Robin, this is not the only reason they hold this opinion. There's more, Cody's relationship with a particular petite brunette has drawn criticism mostly because of the harm it has done. Cody Brown didn't take good care of his other wives. Cody Brown's distressed Mary, Janelle, and Christine. There were pyrotechnics during season 18 when Cody and Janelle got into a fight. Janelle had just gone through a protracted epidemic by alone, thus the situation was a volatile one. Cody wanted her to adhere to extremely rigorous COVID avoidance restrictions, so she was forced to raise her children alone with him. He felt little sympathy for Janelle and the children, who would have rather interacted with others. They adhered to CDC recommendations. Janelle had to make a decision that no mother should ever have to. She would have had to force her kids out of the house in order to spend time with Cody. She didn't do this, of course. Robin seized Christine's position, and Cody didn't seem to care that Christine was envious. 
He even seemed to rub Robin's relationship in her face. Christine was the first to go, and she did it with remarkable abandon when she experienced an emotional breakdown. After leaving, she began dating David Woolley and eventually got married to him. She seemed to be really content right now. The difference has been entirely in David's treatment of her. Years passed while Mary waited for Cody to show her forgiveness for a catfishing episode that he had essentially forced her into by ignoring her. Although her actions were immoral, it's easy to feel sympathy for the woman who had been alone for a long time. Mary was quiet and gentle, she never spoke to Cody. She didn't easily become angry. She had given up all hope, which is why she had drawn away. Cody treats the ladies he doesn't love in this way. Then he accuses them of running away. Although Cody still needs to mature, his circumstances weren't perfect. He had three wives to consider after falling in love with one. How was he supposed to proceed? Robin may have surprised Cody by how much he loved her. The entire Brown family was caught off guard. Cody is a better man when he is with Robin. His other issues are what make him unhappy, resentful, and agitated, not Robin. He began to distance himself from Robin as they became increasingly intimate. Take note. He was inaccessible to the other wives, acting as if he were on the moon. It's tragic that a brown child passed away, and Sister Wives illustrates the dangers of several marriages. People shouldn't, however, place all the blame on Cody. Some aspects are hidden from spectators. Only those directly involved have a complete understanding of the situation, and even then, they are biased. Life is more difficult for all Browns, especially Cody, without Garrison. The founder of Sister Wives, who formerly extolled the virtues of polygamy, has now turned against the organization that brought him notoriety. The family's several marriages were a lie for many years. Cody didn't seem like a man of integrity until he admitted that he wanted to be a monogamous partner with Robin. He has indeed been egotistical, but who hasn't? Some of the individuals who judge Cody aren't even parents, they might even be terrible people. Fans should give him some space so that he can recover. Sister Wives, is Mary Brown riding for a fall, or is her worthy up venture about to fail? Mary Brown, star of Sister Wives, has always had a spirit of entrepreneurship, but her latest endeavor is doomed to fail. Cody Brown's first wife was named Mary. They had one child together after getting married in 1990. Cody had 18 children and four women in total. After Cody's third wife, Christine Brown, left him in 2021, things began to fall apart. Janelle Brown, his second wife, followed her out the door in 2022. Even though Mary supported their polygamous lifestyle, she could no longer stand the abuse and mistreatment she was subjected to from Cody. The Sister Wives Season 18 cast members declared their separation in January 2023, following 32 years of matrimony. After her marriage ended, Mary concentrated on expanding her company empire. Even if Mary has made some money from previous endeavors, this new company might not succeed. It looks like Mary Brown is stealing the worthy idea. Where she found the inspiration. Mary's official website reports that the Sister Wives actress has recently been quite busy at work. Her website's homepage, Unveiling the Heart. A journey through the layers of Mary's world, highlights her commercial endeavors. You may find Mary's business portfolio by scrolling down the page. The website's content states, from motivational speaking engagements to product lines, every project is a reflection of Mary's belief in the power of self-worth. A summary of Mary's commercial endeavors follows. Mary works with Park Lane and LuLaRoe in addition to her bed and breakfast, Lizzie's Heritage Inn, she is also accessible on Cameo. Worthy Up, Mary's most recent business endeavor, is a life coaching service. Mary attributes the concept to Jamie Kern Lima, the New York Times best-selling author of Worthy, 
how to believe you are enough and transform your life. Mary just shared a picture of herself clutching the book on Instagram. Mary notes in a caption that she read the book two years ago while on a weekend trip and that she really enjoyed it. Mary wrote, Worthy Up was born that weekend. Mary Brown charges high prices for services that are deserving. She recognizes her value. Mary's website shows that Worthy Up provides a range of activities and services. Depending on the level of membership, annual memberships can cost $150, $300, or $600. These are not inexpensive subscriptions. Additional benefits offered at higher tiers include one-on-one -on -one virtual sessions with Mary, early access to events, and discounts on activities. In addition, Mary plans to provide experiences all year long. Right now, for $300 per person, a group trip to Disneyland is available with Mary. Given that Mary seems like a nice and entertaining person, many fans would likely be interested in the opportunity to visit Disneyland with Mary. Mary Brown might not be a genuine expert in self-help. She has plenty to show. Worthy Up is a life coaching service, and after watching Mary navigate life with Cody since the 2010 premiere of Sister Wives, it's difficult to see Mary as a self-help guru. She stayed and tolerated Cody far too long, even after he came clean and said he wasn't drawn to her. She remained faithful to him even after he informed her that they would never be in a committed relationship. Mary's belief in preserving her marriage makes sense but it's difficult to accept that she has the right to mentor others in self-help. Mary would need to demonstrate that she can be taken seriously as a leader in order for this endeavor to succeed, which would be more difficult given her prior actions. Having said that, Mary has demonstrated her ability to overcome challenges. Mary's decision to part from Cody couldn't have been simple. Walking out from a 32-year marriage must have seemed like entering a chasm. She lost contact with all of her sister wives' kids. This must have been incredibly lonely for Mary, especially after her short-lived, unhappy romance with Amos Andrews, now that her sole kid was grown and out of the house. Mary has managed to expand her business empire and shed some pounds in the process, despite all of that. For more of the latest updates and behind-the-scenes secrets from Sister Wives, make sure to hit subscribe and ring that bell. Stay in the know with every new release.